For the next two weeks, I'm gonna live like a monk. No social media, no refined sugar, no alcohol, no artificial sweeteners, porn, masturbation. Why, you might be asking, would you wanna put yourself through that, Mo? Why do you wanna endure two weeks of nothing fun? Well, I don't actually like fun. I like to be bored and put myself through pain. No, I'm joking. Basically, we are said to be in an epidemic of addictions. Porn, social media, TV, we're all addicted to things that give instant gratification that give us like dopamine hits monk mode or a dopamine detox is more commonly known is basically removing all these things that induce instant gratification and cause a massive release of dopamine on a day by day basis the idea is is that if you remove these things and get your dopamine level kind of back to baseline you're able to enjoy the things more that really matter to you and focus on the things that you need to do rather than becoming distracted it's pretty common knowledge that monks do not vigorously masturbate snort lines of cocaine or scroll through Instagram for hours and call it causation or correlation, they seem to be pretty happy. So by that logic, I'm gonna live like a monk for the next two weeks, go full monk mode and basically do a dopamine detox with an hour of meditation every single day, get up at 6am every single day and have a cold shower every single day. Quick disclaimer, I've just absolutely done you a dirty on clickbait. And although my hairline is pretty fucking mediocre at best, I didn't actually shave it off for this video. I'm doing everything I can to to maintain maintain that. So yeah, might make a video on it. It's the final day of sugar and we're treating this like a, a drug addict before they go into rehab. If I was addicted to heroin, what I would do is take as much heroin as possible the day before I go into rehab. For the final bit of caffeine. Delicious. So it's the end of day one and it wasn't actually too bad But one thing that I did notice was that whenever I had any like dead time I would instinctively just automatically grab my phone unlock it and click on like a social media app Gone Gone Seeing as we don't have social media to occupy our time, I'm currently doing 10k steps per day minimum. And also because I've got nothing better to do. Spending time with your girlfriend. Yeah, my girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another thing that I've noticed, I've been slowly dieting for a good few months now. And I just like wasn't really in it. I've noticed that I am able to adhere to things and be far more disciplined with absolutely like no issues. Now, I'm good an hour, hopefully not fall asleep, and mentally prepare myself for the impending dead legs. Halfway in, I got a cramp in my right quad that spread all the way up the quad to the glute. We're about one third of the way through. I haven't noticed any like massive changes other than the fact that I levitate when I sleep now. The only like things I've noticed so far. I get far more joy from tasks that I otherwise find a bit tedious or boring. Other things I'd say was that I fucking ejaculated like a day ago. Not by myself, Alma did it for me. But it felt like a solid 40% better than it normally does. It just felt like, like a scene in The Matrix when Neo gets plugged into the fucking, uh, plugged into the machine city. absolutely gagging for a monster and some caffeine. I'm not addicted to caffeine. I'm gagging for some caffeine, like real bad. I end up doing lots of things. I end up doing like lots of walking, lots of things outside. I ended up absolutely nailing my diet and training. That was really, really, really good. And overall, I would actually say I was more happier, definitely more zen and uh, got loads more enjoyment out of life. And in terms of like doing work and stuff, I was just laser like tunnel vision.
I'm mentally retarded. I can do a 50 foot gainer, but I can't backflip into a pool. Like, I literally cannot backflip. How does that work? Always forget to say this. If you want to support me and rep the VQ garments that I'm currently wearing right now and be the hottest looking guy in the entire gym, there's a link in the description down below. And every sale that I get through it, I make 20%, which is pretty cool. Right, we're on the final day. And the main thing I've learned from this is that, my God, being a monk must be fucking shit. Meditating for one hour, I can't tell how difficult it is. When you meditate, you have two choices. You can either sit comfortably and fall asleep, or you can sit cross-legged like this and go through the worst pain fucking imaginable. There's been sessions at the end where I've been like sweating, not because I'm hot, but out of like pain and discomfort because my legs go completely dead. It takes me about 10, 15 minutes to walk again. I'm definitely not gonna keep meditating for an hour a day. Like it's just, in my, like I, I don't know how monks do it. Cutting out sugar, being like literally no worries whatsoever. Um, sugar addiction where people say, sugar is more addictive than cocaine and heroin. I'd say the biggest thing that I've realized or taken away from this is social media. And when I first deleted it, it was like, that did feel like withdrawal. It's kind of like a spell has been lifted. Like I've got past the hump. I'm not like trying to gag in to get on my socials to get that instant fix of dopamine. And I don't really want to go back to it. Presence, that's the thing. Presence is the word, like going for a walk on the beach without looking at your phone, like going, uh, going for a walk in the morning, like spending time with your friends. It's just like so nice to be properly present to the moment. More present, my, my work output has been gone from here to up here. I've been able to concentrate more doing work, music production, like I fucking love it. I find that like the, the, the length of time I spend doing work and the quality of my work and the, 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 the period of time that I'm in like deep work, like in a flow state, is, is exponentially increased. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the day where I'm gonna crack open a fresh monster. I'm gonna consume this Monster Energy Ultra that is probably around three degrees Celsius. It's got condensation on the outer can. I'm not gonna get addicted to caffeine again. I feel like I'm lying to myself. 350 milligrams. Woo! Big love to you guys, absolutely mental. Um, I do read all the comments, although I can't get back to all of them. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Drop the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and drop it a comment to please the algorithm gods.